Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can easily use calendar in Airtable. So the first thing you want to do is when you're going to be in your project, you want to uh, click here on the views and you want to find calendar here on create. Click here calendar. Now you can add a name to it. So let's say this is going to be calendar of my work and create a new view. So here I'm going to have a choose date fields. So I don't have any date fields. In the moment when you're going to not have any date fields, you need to create them. So field name is going to be date of publishing and date format can be local. I can include the time if I want and you can also display time zone. I can create a field. So using date field is a date of publishing, right? Or we can like, let's I'm going to cancel here to do uh, things to buy. So I'm going to rename this to date of start working. So customize date of start. And then I can have a date of finishing. Right. And let's say I'm going to have a Our calendar. Okay. Here I'm going to choose a date of start. And you can create a new date of field, uh, which is going to be the like date of finish. And I can create a field. So I would click down here. Now, yeah, I will also share the view that you can sync it with Google Calendar. So when I go back to to do and or things to buy and grid view, I can simply add, oh, I add a text. Okay. I understand now. That's why I made a mistake there. So YouTube marketing video can be, let's say today, date of finished 20, date of start here. And I'm going to just choosing the days here, right? Now in the moment when I go to my calendar, I can clearly see the dates. So I see the first one here, the YouTube marketing video. I see the YouTube video here or it's like all these tasks. You can of course always, always find, uh, like, let's say a tasks here. You can move it clearly. So that's what you can do. It's pretty straightforward and pretty easy. So that's how you can do it. And it's like really effective. And it's pretty good. So when I go to calendar, I can see clearly here. I can expand the record and always like see other uh, dates and everything. So then what you can do is you can simply also color. See, so I can have it coloring by a status or priority. So by status, you see that which is in progress, which is done, which is to do. So if I'm going to click on the grid view and I'm going to change the priority here to medium and here medium. And I would click back to calendar and I'm going to change the color next to the share view to, let's say not status, but priority. I see that the first one is high priority and the second two are blue. Then I can simply share the view and you can share the view by prior link or what you can do is go on a sync to external calendar. And what I have to do is copy it copy and now what I will do, I will go to Google calendar, open the Google calendar. I'm going to like here. Okay. I have Google calendar. What I will do now is to simple go to, I think it was settings next to the day settings on the top, right? Here you're going to have add calendar 
from URL. And when you have it, you just paste it. And then you're going to press add calendar. And you just wait, calendar clear, create it. Now I go back and I see it right here. For every day, what I have to do. So I see right here that I have the YouTube business video and it's an air table. This is from Asana. So this is pretty much it, how we can make it and how we can also connect it to Google account. So again, next to the month, you would go to settings, settings and here you can easily choose to add a calendar then from URL and you just add here the URL that we found in Airtable. So again, I would click share view, sync to external calendar, and you just copy and paste it to your Gmail account. In that regard, you're going to have it connected to your mobile and everything. So I hope you have a great day, guys. So this is how you can uh, easily use a calendar. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. And if you can have any questions, ask down below in the comments. So this was a calendar tutorial in Airtable, Airtable calendar, how you can use the calendar. You can simply switch here the time scale of two weeks, a week, a free day, a day, a month. When I'm going to like somewhere further, I can simply click today. You can find a record. So that's pretty much it, how you can use it. So thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.